Okay, so we've cut out our pieces and now it's time to put them together. You've got your stage four, that's your largest piece. My back wall, no hole. My proscenium arch, obviously a hole. My two side walls. In addition, you're gonna need some pins. Now, I've got two pins because they're handy. Regular straight pins, safety pins, those would be fine. Craft glue or white Elmer's glue. Any of this will work fine. Um, I like the craft glue because it's a little thicker and it doesn't run as much. Uh, but, you know, white glue, pretty much white glue is white glue. Okay, look at your stage four. You want your best long edge to be the front. For me, that's going to be this one. Because see here, this corner is messed up. So I want to hide that. I'll put that in the back. Okay, here's my proscenium arch. I can use this side out, or I can use this side out. You want to use the most plain side. You know, your proscenium arch should not distract from the set that you're putting on stage. So, where I put all these marks, I'm going to put that on the inside so that, you know, we don't see it. Run a little bit of glue on each edge of the proscenium. Okay. Now, now remember, foam core is susceptible to moisture, which means it will warp and turn just like wood does. So line up your corner. And put your teeth pin in. Yeah. Then slide over and make sure that this is still flush here on the bottom before you stick your teeth pin in. And see, that's not going to matter because I'm going to take those out in 24 hours. Over on the other side, same thing. Line it up. Now, try to keep that pin straight so it doesn't go out of the foam core. Okay. Now I can put that down for a moment. Okay. Done my front. Now I want to do my back wall. Again, the sides that have colored pencil on it, I want that not to show. So, for this one, that colored pencil is going to face out because we don't look at it from that side. This is easier to put the glue here on the long piece of foam core. Because that way I know where the glue needs to be. Like anything, guys, take your time. You know, it's not, did you get yours done before the video is over? Okay. My part with the lines on it, I don't want that to be part of my set design. So I'm going to put it so it faces out. Starting at one corner and working my way down just like we were squaring a flat with a piece of glue on. And you're probably going to end up with five or six pins across the back of here. corner I want to make sure it's lined up and true so there we go um, if you're using t-pins you know set the t-pins so that they're up and down that way when you put this down the glue's not sitting on whatever your model's sitting on and you won't glue it down 
and that's a good thing. That's happened a couple of times in class. Now, before you put glue on these side pieces, check and make sure they fit. You could have made a mistake in your measurements or your cuts. And see this one? Yeah, there it goes. Now, this is just a little too wide. Let me check this side, see if we're the same. Yeah, both sides just a tiny bit too wide. So, I'm going to line up my ruler with the edge of my board and I'm just going to take off a little shib, little, little you know. see, not much at all, just a little splinter. And, you know, if I have to make two cuts, oh, I don't think I'm going to. So that's going to be fine. I'm going to leave this in place. I haven't glued it. I haven't pinned it yet. But if I get one piece in place, no, nope, still just a little too wide. So cut another little sliver off one of your ends. Hold your ruler down tight. Yeah. Not taking much off at all. There we go. Okay. Now, the back wall and the proscenium wall attach to the front edge of the stage floor. The side walls fit inside and on top of. So it's not going to go here because if it goes here, I really don't have any place to pin and glue. Now this gets a little messy when you go to put this in place. Remember, you are washable. So if you get a bunch of glue on your hands before you jump over to the other side, wipe your hands clean. Makes it simpler if you're not sticking to the pieces you're trying to glue in place. So I've glued this edge and my two short edges. I've got lines on this, so I want those to be outside. I don't want them to be part of my set design. And then I just slide this in place. I'm not super worried about glue. This little bit of glue that's here at the top, it's going to dry clear. Put in my, my pins to hold it while it's drying. And, you know, Depending on how the weather is, you know, this will dry somewhere between 4 and 12 hours. That's just plenty of time. Well, it looks like I need a couple of pins on this side to hold it to the bottom. Oh, one of my pins poked out from the front. And again, not a big deal because once this is all dry, I'm gonna take those out. So there's my one side in. And now just repeat. Okay, here's my line. So that's gonna be my outside. Keep all my nice, clean, you know, foam core that doesn't have any marks on it. 
I don't want anything to distract from my set design. You want your set design to be the focus. Bottle of glue is getting a little empty. This just slides in. It's usually e easier to put the second piece in than just the first one because when that first one's in, it's holding it, helping to hold the wall square. And it doesn't matter if you pin the front first or the back first. You just want to make sure that your edges match up and form a nice 90 degree. front I want to wipe it off so that it doesn't become shiny on my finished model. I said it'll cool dry and kind of have a sheen. Okay and a couple pieces a couple pins in the bottom. Here's what you should have when you're all done. Now this will just sit and the glue will dry clear. And you saw this at the beginning of class today. Because this is the model that I showed you of where we were going. So, you know, the pins were all out, the glue had all dried, and we were good. So, this is where you want to get to by class tomorrow. Um, have your box put together. Remember, you're going to take pictures of it. You're going to take a picture of it from the front. You're going to take a picture from above. Then you're going to show me the back corner for stage left, and then the back corner for stage right. So I should say, see part of this wall and part of this wall. Okay? If you really want to do that as a video rather than separate photos, that's great too, but this gets uploaded to Google Classroom so that I can see that you have it done. Okay, I will see you in class uh, tomorrow with completed models. Have a good evening.